Hi, my name is Hanan Azuddin. I am an educator and it's a word that I love to use because it defines everything I do. I'm a mother. I have a son who's almost 14 and he is the soul, he is the reason, he is my why for everything I do. The actual story of Family Help started from schools where I became licensed as a positive discipline educator for parents and for teachers. So the Family Hub is there to support parents, to support teachers into everything that has to do with positive psychology in the hopes that we create this environment that is full of support. Finding a balance is something that I am a huge advocate of just because it took me years and years to find my own as a mother. When you are a mom and you have a child, they become the center of your universe. They will take up a lot of your energy, both in the mental space and in the emotional space and the physical space, of course, especially when they're young. It doesn't mean that we neglect other things that we're passionate about. It doesn't mean that we neglect ourselves in terms of our health, in terms of our mental health, in terms of, you know, going to, to exercise, eating properly. It's not right that we lose ourselves in the process. The mom guilt takes place because we love our children so much. Every time we start doing something for ourselves that doesn't involve our kids, we start thinking, am I a bad mom? And that guilt starts to overpower a lot of other emotions that are there. The expectation that the mother is the sole, um, how do I say, the sole person responsible for taking care of the child is no longer, it's no longer valid. It's not a valid argument anymore. Fathers need to be there to support the moms. We call it the invisible workload of motherhood. You're responsible for the house, you're responsible for the kids, for the schooling, for the kids, when they, there's a physical issue, when there's a mental issue, it all falls on the mother. And this is something that we've inherited year on, year on, year on. Now, when the mother is so stressed out and she doesn't have a venue to let go of that stress, she becomes, she starts to indulge in other habits that are harmful. So for example, she would be screaming all the time, shouting all the time, losing the temper. Sometimes she can um, uh, hit and so on. And, and there is never a reason or an excuse that this will ever be valid. But the reality is that this is what happens when she reaches a peak level of extreme anxiety and extreme stress. A bigger issue actually than all of this is that a lot of moms will expect the kids to show some sort of gratitude that I've left my career or I've left my job or I'm not going out with my friends or I'm not going to the gym or I've gained so much weight, whatever it is, because of you. And we see this all the time. My kids are not saying thank you. My kids are not appreciative. That's not their role. It's not the children's role to accommodate for our sense of loss. And when moms have a separate life that is hers, just like, you know, a passion that she's involved with, it makes all the difference in the relationship because there is this positive relationship that's going on. The kids will want to come back because they love their parents. They want to spend time with them, but not because they feel guilty towards what their parents have sacrificed for them. I think for the next generation, women need to stop being each other's enemy and becoming their number one supporter. We need to be each other's support system. We need to be a reason that somebody gets inspired, that somebody gets a lending hand, that when you see someone who's struggling, who needs time off or, or needs some help doing something or needs to go to sleep because their kid is awake all night and they're just exhausted for men, it's really important to start educating yourselves on how to become the fathers that you were born into. Even if the parents separate at one point in time, the father and the mother need to be a presence in those um, children's lives to show them that it's important to be responsible, to show them that, it's resp that the household is everybody's responsibility. Moms need to teach the boys and the girls what it's like to cook, 
to clean, to do their laundry, to do everything that has to do with taking care of themselves and becoming more independent. The more independent we teach our children to be, the higher chance we have of us having a stronger, stronger relationship with our kids and them coming back to us willingly after they've left.